Turns out the DOJ and the FBI have been hiding a great deal from the American people. And the Democrats are invested in this cover-up effort. How many pro-Americans are left inside our once trusted institutions? That's the question we ask in today's preamble. Leftists are melting down after Congresswoman Marjorie Taylor Greene showed pictures, allegedly, from Hunter Biden's laptop from hell at a congressional hearing last week. The photos were of Hunter and a suspected prostitute that he'd reportedly hired. He documented the encounter, as he did with many other things on that laptop that he abandoned. But the left wing wasn't ashamed or aghast or condemning of Hunter Biden's alleged debaucherous and illegal activity. They were instead angry at the GOP for exposing the malign activity and informing the rest of America about it. I know you saw the disgusting moment in the hearing when Marjorie Taylor Greene displayed those nude photos of Hunter mm -hmm. Biden. Obviously, we're not going to show them uh, here on this program, but her Republican colleagues have not condemned her for it. And we know that she has been name calling. She uses profanities. What do you make of this new standard of decorum in the GOP controlled house? I mean, this is the party that claims to be the party of family values and decency. Yeah, I mean, for anyone who had the misfortune of actually seeing that portion of the hearing, it was disgusting. In Democrats' left-wing ruled America, the illegal activities of the rich and powerful, they are not condemned. Those who stand against the illegal activities, they are condemned. That's the new left-wing order. Last week, we learned that according to a leaked FD-1023, that Joe and Hunter Biden coerced a Ukrainian oligarch into paying them $10 million to fire a prosecutor who was investigating Hunter Biden's then-company, Burisma. Joe Biden arrogantly bragging about fulfilling his end of the alleged illegal scheme for all the world to see. They were walking out to the press conference and said, no, nah, I said, I'm not going to, or we're not going to give you the billion dollars. They said, you have no authority. You're not the president. The president said, I said, call him. <laughs> I said, I'm telling you, you're not getting the billion dollars. I said, you're not getting the billion. I'm going to be leaving here. And I think it was, what, six hours. I looked, I said, I'm leaving in six hours. If the prosecutor's not fired, you're not getting the money. Both. Hmm. That's not all. Over the weekend, reported details on Joe Biden and the agents in our government who were trying to make sure he gets away with accused crimes hit a new low. A source confirming to the Federalist that when the Pittsburgh FBI office briefed the Delaware U.S. Attorney's Office on evidence implicating Hunter and Joe Biden in a criminal bribery scheme, the agents also told the Delaware team they had already corroborated several aspects of the claims of criminal influence peddling. In other words, the FBI has already reportedly verified many aspects of the criminal allegations against Joe Biden, the leader of the Democrat Party. They just sat on it in an apparent effort to make sure Democrats get away with selling out America for foreign cash. You know, there's an old saying, justice delayed is justice denied. It appears that's the business the DOJ and FBI are in now, denying justice and service to something that is corrupt, vile, and anti-American. But I should note that the leak of the damning FD-1023 came from inside the Department of Injustice, according to Chuck Grassley. Sources tell me that there is nobody left at Maine Justice who is pro-American or pro-Constitution. My sources say the leak likely came from FBI. So that begs the question. Just how big is the revolt against the corruption of the DOJ and FBI within the Bureau? 